If you're 18 or under, please leave now. Let's celebrate. Here's to you, Johnny. You done it. You did a fucking awesome job, baby. This video is about you, about my 3,000K subscribership. It has now blown the fuck up because of you. You helped it out. And the DeLorean. Wow. I'm getting old. Um, love this. Love this. Feel it with me. <laughs> All right. So here it is. So I hit 3,000. I'm loving it. I'm going to review this figure from head to toe, from beanie to the bottom of those Converse. Now, Johnny, I'm not a little upset with that. Should have put, you know, should have put something on the bottom of there. Got to put something on there next time. That's just my opinion, but everything else is motherfucking perfect. You are a G, all right? Now, there are some things that I don't like, and there are some things that I love, and the majority of this, I love. It's amazing. And in celebration of getting this figure from you, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I live about two and a half hours from Philadelphia. I am driving tomorrow morning to Philadelphia. Run the stairs with your figure. Up those fucking stairs. I'm going to make it happen. This baby is going to run the fucking stairs in Philadelphia. The city of brotherly love, baby. Let me turn my head around. Representing. Representing. One more week, baby. That's how we do it. We're throwing it back, baby. We're throwing it back. I'm excited. I even got the shirt to go with it. Look at that. I'm going to hit them fucking stairs, baby. Ah! So anyway, I'm excited, man. You ever see the old man excited for fucking toys? I am. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Hold on. Hold on. Orgasmic part. Ah! Ooh. I love that fucking part right there. Amazing. All right, so tomorrow, tomorrow morning, in about seven hours, I'm going to be in Philadelphia. And better than me going through the figure, examining every little detail, I'm going to do this. I'm going to run up those stairs, go back down the stairs, hit to my left, because I've been there so many times just to do the staircases back in the days before you have created the trainer. And I'm going to sit in front of the statue. With his hands up, his arms up, excuse me. And I'm going to let the city of Philadelphia, the people, review this beautiful figure in one six scale. I'm going to give it to them, and I hope they don't run away with my fucking shit. I'll be fucking mad. And I'm going to let them look at it. People that live in Philadelphia, not fucking visitors. People that live in Philly. And I'm going to let them hold it and tell me what they think and videotape it and see where it is now you know us collectors we know what we're looking at we're looking at details we're looking at every little bit of uh of the movie on the figure if you if you captured it you know like the converse sweatpants sweatpants they need to be open it shouldn't it should have been a little bit more bell bottom it's okay love how he's square here and remember i said the shoulders are nice and wide fucking beautiful you know, there's no tape. He's not tapered. You know, Italian styling, gorgeous. I love the way the uh, the hoodie is over the sweatshirt. You've done great on the wrapping, the beanie, the towel. Fucking love it. The eyes, man. You killed it. You killed the eyes. Like, it's like you know how you like yo, yo, you know what I'm saying? Fucking unbelievable. So, here's a picture. I mean. Even the fucking nose is sharp, man. You done it, man. You did it. You did it. Okay? You did it. I love it. I fucking love it, man. Now, like I said in my other previous video when I opened this up, this means the world to me, bro. All right? You know, you know, <laughs> I gotta do that shit. I'm rigging the cannon, the motherfucking 2470. 
and I'm gonna take pictures. I'm gonna have them. I'm gonna lay on the floor. Bang, 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 bang. It's gonna be crazy, brother. I'm gonna blow this fucking figure up. Okay, so here it is. This is um, one of those figures that when you buy as a collector, they mean something to you. And I and I have a couple of things that I want to show you guys and share with you, if you don't mind. And then I'm going to do a shout-out video of my previous video of the unboxing. I want to shout-out everybody that commented. I want to thank everyone, first of all, right now, that has subscribed and has not commented, but subscribed and helped me reach over 3,000 subscribers. It is a milestone for me. It is, um, it, it, I now realize that I should continue. It's a lot of fun. I know that a lot of people love the DeLorean review because of what the views you get, you know, and there's not a lot of negativity, which is not a lot of thumbs down, which is excellent. You know, I'm not an expert in this game. I can just tell you that I'm passionate for the figures. I collect what I love. And this is the, the absolute truth about collecting, you have to collect. You cannot go on the spur of the moment because you're going to go broke and you're going to throw shit away and you're going to give it away because you're not going to really love it. You got to be surrounded by the things that you really love and care. And one of the things that I really love and care is this beautiful Sylvester Stallone, Rocky Balboa figure. And I haven't forgotten about Burt Young. Burt Young will be in a couple of weeks. I will take care of that with you, Johnny. I will let you know. And uh, definitely show him the, the piece and see what he says and about what you discussed with me in private. Now, oh, Buckus, by the way, is in excellent condition. I have uh, achieved what I needed to achieve. Done. Thank you for the advice. And thank you for actually offering for, offering to re-glue it for me and send it back to you at you know free of charge. That was very nice of you. Love, Buckus. Okay, so... Here's some of the figures that have changed my life that transcended and is still in me, in my blood, in my DNA. Rocky. You know this for sure, baby. Okay? Then we got Kim Saran. Jimi Hendrix. I love rock and roll. I was 7th uh, grade, 6th grade. No, 6th grade going to 7th. I was in junior high school out here in Queens, New York. And uh, some kid, man, he, he, was, uh, he was a Doors freak, man. And he turned me on. He said, yo, guys, listen to some Jimmy. I was listening to some Jimmy. I, man, right when I heard Jimmy, man, and, and Voodoo Child, I was like, what? 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 Went crazy for this. And the Beatles. And uh, this is it, man. This is one of two. This was reviewed. This is my piece. And, you know, it's always going to stay with me. It's going to stay in my collection. It'll never fucking go Anywhere, just like the Sylvester Stallone, the uh, train of the Rocky Balboa that you did, Johnny. I'm talking to you because I want you to see the video, and I want you to know that this video is only, it's not only because I love the figure, but I want to express to you how much I appreciate you. I wish that I could speak to Kim Saran, but he's a fucking thief nowadays. You know, he's on the run. <laughs> you know, he took a lot of goddamn money. I was very fortunate enough. I go, I caught him just in time. You know, I feel sorry for all the other collectors I gave him of money up front. Well, great, great fucking talent. Wasted. You know, he can still come back, but return the fucking money that you owe. <laughs> what, what am I going to say about him? Christopher Reeve. Not Reeves. Reeve. My life. Love this. Okay? Love him. Love this. This is it. Love him too. But if I had to choose right now, one, two. Arnold, this is the first T-800, and um, I'm going to tell you, well, maybe the second, I don't know, this is the first, this is the first, and I bought like four of these guys, I love Arnold Schwarzenegger, I love them, um, they're going to make an Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I don't know, one six skill, I have not seen nothing yet to, to uh, of Arnold in Conan, the Barbarian, that movie made me start loving Arnold. And then I learned and then discovered about pumping iron, and I saw that, and I got into the bodybuilding, and you know, Lou Ferrigno's from New York, and then I found out about him, so I, I swayed more to uh, Lou Ferrigno, Sergio Olivier, Lee Haney when he took over uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I love bodybuilding, you know, and at that time, you know, in the 80s, it was fucking awesome, man. You know, Frank Zane, you know, uh, uh, 
uh, what's his name? Tom Platts, the fucking thighs. And, you know, I just wanted to, yeah, I wanted to get big too. Oh, you know, that. And um, anyway, let me take a drink. Let me calm the fuck down. I'm excited. Shit. I'm talking about figures that have changed my life. And I live my life through my figures and how those characters actually portray in the real world. Okay? I'll demonstrate that right now. For instance, who is the greatest basketball player of all time? I have every Michael Jordan that has come out. I have not reviewed him, but I do have Michael Jordans. Storm Toys, I have, uh, I have uh, Interbay. Now, how does this motherfucker change my life? That motherfucker changed my life. Double nickels, brand new, fresh, out the box. There it is, came back. Scored 55 on my Knicks. There they are. Can't fuck with these right here. Jordan 10s, baby. Then we got, if you're a real sneakerhead, a real Jordan fan, you, you got to have one pair in the closet. Fresh, ready to go when you're going partying. Look at that. You smell that? Mmm. Breads, baby. 11s. You see his character... Became a 1-6 scale, and before he became a 1-6 scale, I already had the Jordans. So, this character played a part in my life, and this is how I collect. I love military figures for a reason, and, you know, this is what I'm talking about. This is the shit that, that I'm talking about. You know, figures that do things for you in life. Not just hoarding and collecting, because anyone can collect a line of figures, and that's okay. Man, I'm... I'm I'm going, am I rambling? God damn, 11 minutes. Anybody can collect, uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of figures. But you know what? Does it really mean, like, you know, are you going to collect the whole goddamn Avengers line? Really? Like, everybody in Marvel that's on that team? I mean, I can understand Thor, or, you know, Captain America, Iron Man, but every fucking body? Hawkeye? Like, I, you know, it's just, it's crazy. So, I've, thank God that I've left that world where I'm always itching, and you know, and the problem is that when you see a lot of these fucking videos of people, you know, you want to ride the, you know, you want to ride that wave with them, you know what I'm saying, and this shit costs fucking money, all right, yo, Nick Thompson, look at that cat right there, that's a custom piece, man, you don't know about that shit, that's quiet, that's, that's money right there, but y'all don't know about that, because y'all ain't real lovers like I am, you are Main Street motherfuckers, some of you use a mainstream. You know what mainstream is? Whatever they put on the motherfucking tube is the color of the day. You know what I'm saying? You got to collect for you like a lot of you do. Okay, next one. Now, you know Mike fucking Tyson. Now, let me tell you about this motherfucking figure. All these belts, all these belts can't even talk to you about. These motherfuckers cost more than a figure. But anyway, we'll talk about that later one other day. Check this shit out. Alright. Now this body right here. Very delicate body. But better than that fucking latex shit. You know why? Because that will never last. This is the first Mike Tyson release. If you got this, you are good. Alright. That's all I got to say about that. Alright. One day we'll get into this motherfucking figure right here. But he's beautiful. Love my figure. Anyway. Um, so we covered everybody here in the one six scale. Johnny, if you're listening, man, I got a little problem. My box looks like it got hit by, by something, man. I got a lot of wrinkles on my shit and I want a new art, art cover, man. I, this one, this one in the back's fine. I can live with, no, nah, I can't live with these wrinkles, man. <laughs> these wrinkles are killing me, man. I like a perfect two of these, man. If you can bring me, send me one of these and send me one of these. I'll pay for postage, but I want that replaced, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Look, at, you see the wrinkles? All right. Let's go for the shout outs, people. Let's do the shout outs. Shut the fuck out. All right. How am I shouting out? I'm going to be shouting out on here. Let's see where we're going to go. I'm going to do my previous video, and that previous video, previous video, 
was the one that I actually unveiled um, the Rocky Balboa figure. Excuse me. It looks awesome, man. I can't wait to tomorrow. Philadelphia, here we come, baby. It's gonna be fucking magical. You know, that's that's the best. You know, that's the best thing to do. You, you let people that you know associate themselves with the city live there and let them actually uh, let them actually uh, check it out and talk about it. It'd be awesome. All right. First of all, when it hit my boy, uh, here's the shout outs. Ready? Too many figures. Whoa. Thank you, Brian, for all the time, for all your support, brother. You're awesome. James Quinn, you're a beast, man. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you on Facebook as well. You're awesome. Toyzilla Oz, appreciate you. Stiff Richards, man. Get back to some hot toys, dog, man. Yeah, do it. D Knight, I ain't seen you in a minute, boss. What's going on? Newborn Collector, do your thing, baby. You're killing it, man, with the display cases, man. Ron Collector, what's up, man? Predators, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. We got Geo Man. You guys rock, man. I love your show. I love everything you guys do. You guys are unbelievable. And uh, I appreciate your support as well. Sparks Tron. Tron, excuse me. <laughs> I'm a little tipsy. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, Dirty Afro. <laughs> Man, Dirty Afro, thank you, man. Your comments beautiful, man. I appreciate you. And you know, Johnny is the man. Chris Eaton, thank you, man. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate your comment, man. Love it. Test Jazz, brother, what's going on, Kev, man? You're a beast, brother. You keep rolling them videos, man. Keep collecting. Doing your thing, man. Passionate collector as well. And uh, a passionate, passionate reviewer. Just awesome. I love your style, brother. And everything about it. Mike Rowe, what up, my nigga? From the Windy City. One day I'm going to come out there and see you, brother. Love your shit. Epic Flash Time, what up? Thank you for uh, always supporting the channel. Thank you for being there, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that. In... Corvette in Corvette Studios. Okay, this is serious right now. This this uh, he left this comment about four hours ago. It says here, excellent review. It's an honor to be part of the project of my friend Johnny Kinman. Kinman, excuse me. Sculpting the meat masterpiece was a big challenge for me, and I'm proud that you really like it and see it in hands in hands or in hand of a great collector. Thanks. Um, Dude, thank you so much for even posting something here and, and checking out the video. I appreciate your talents, and I appreciate you, man. You're, you're awesome, and thank you for leaving, dropping a comment, man. It's amazing. I, I appreciate it so much. You don't, even under, you don't even understand how much I do appreciate it. That only fires me up to show you love back because you showed me love by doing this, man. This, I mean, you guys, you guys got to see this, man. This thing up close, I mean... Look at that. It's fucking... It's epic. All right. Uh, let's get down here. Um, All-Star Figure Collector. <laughs> you will definitely grab one of these bad boys. They, they, one just sold. I heard one, one of these figures moved on. So, you know, it, it's going to be shared around the community for sure, man. I, I just hope, again, like I said in my other previous video, on the video that I'm commenting on, uh, actually giving the shout-outs from, that I hope that, you know, if you're going to pass it on, man, don't kill nobody, man. You know what I'm saying? Pay, you know, a little bit more, but don't, don't go no crazy 2K, 3K shit. Hey, come on, man. Really? Really? If you, if you want to be a flipper, then just... Yo, make a fucking video and be, have some cojones, man. And just say, I'm flipping my shit. And if you can't afford it, then say it. No, no biggie, man. One day down the line, maybe somebody be generous enough to fucking pass it on to you at a lower price than what they got it for just because of the fact that you wanted it that bad. And that's fine, man. Nobody ain't going to take your fucking lunch away from you. All right. Let's see. Davey C. Thank you again. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for the comment. I love it. The Clipper King. Great video. 
I saw your videos, man. Thank you again for even coming by and sharing, you know, because you a valuable time, man. You a big star, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You got, I'm seeing y'all, you got almost 10K, brother. You up there. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little jelly, man. A little jelly. Yeah, I got a little fucking jelly. But it's all right. It's all good, man. We're sharing, baby. We're sharing. Love, love, love and caring. All right. Chris Obi Wan Benjamin. Thank you, brother. Thank you for a uh, nice post, man. I love it. I appreciate it. As full. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate you. Stiff Kittens. We're going to talk later, man. I don't like your style, man, too much, man. I don't like your shit, man. You're talking about my wife too much, man. <laughs> I need a shot right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Got love for you, man. Uh, I got to get on the road, man. I can't wait. I can't wait to do this shit. Um, let's see. Man, 20 minutes. I got to get the fuck off of this. Tony, 74, IFC. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I read your comment all the time. When it shines through, I love that line. Thank you. If you've seen it, if you feel it, you know it's real, brother. You know it's real. Frids02. Appreciate you, brother. Mr. Licky Down. Had to pass on for the Dracula. Come on, man. Dracula. Nah, I'm kidding, man. That's a beautiful piece. I don't got that kind of love for it, but if I could get it, I would have got it, but about $300. I ain't paying that kind of money, man. You know what I'm saying? That's too, That's just too expensive, man. <laughs> All right. Liquid B... Br I don't know. B-R-X-X, -X, right? I know you, man, but I, I don't know what, how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. You know, simple mind. Thanks again, man. I appreciate you all the time, all your support. I appreciate it very much. Big Lou from Jersey. Hero Statue Collector come and checking my channel out. God damn, brother. That shit is awesome. Thank you. Tony 77, Tony 77. You said he's your boy, but don't even know his name. You were fucking right. I couldn't pronounce it, man. I, I wrote you back, right? Shit happens, man. I'm sorry. I really am fucking sorry, man. Big fucking deal, brother. Is that all you gotta fucking say? I'm gonna I'm I'm put you on blast. Is that all you gotta say? Say something fucking positive, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? If you got nothing to say, shut the fuck up. And if you were joking, put a fucking JK there. If not, no hard feelings, all right? <laughs> fuck that. You know what I'm saying? And for the oh, and a big shout out for the four thumbs down. Go fuck yourselves, brother. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that's all I got. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, my last thing. I'm going to do a, um, I was actually going to grade my figures, you know, because sometimes you have to grade them, you know. It just shows a little bit of, uh, a little bit more of detailing, you know. And uh, I come up with some shit that I want to do. Um, a keeper. Like a grail figure, like Christopher Reeve, right? For me, I'm going to call that a show-off or a braggart. Flight deck is a, another way of saying, for instance, a flight deck is a figure that you get, and it's on the deck of an aircraft carrier, and in about eight months, it takes off. You don't want it no more in your collection. You understand? So you following me? That's a flight deck figure. Then we got the bus pass. Now, the bus pass... In the UK, well, that means a person that is getting old. But here in my channel, a bus pass, I'm going to give this motherfucker a bus pass or a ticket you out of my collection really quick. I'm just going to pass this shit on because I don't like it. You know, once you receive something and you go, uh, in hand, you're like, this is out of here. And a blockhead. Simply, a fucking blockhead is a figure that you get and you hate it. You don't like it. It is garbage. Okay? That was it. That's what I'm going to use to categorize where I put the figure at. And that'll be on another show. Oh, yeah. And one more thing. Frank Frazetta. I love that artist. And uh, I'm getting the Death Dealer from 
ARH Studios, which is like a ginormous statue, which I can't wait for that to happen. And it should be coming in about a couple of months. And hopefully, you know, that's a figure that I wish that they'll make. They made a one six scale figure, but I'm not really liking it until I see it in hand. I have to see a review of it if someone else gets it before me because I don't want to pay the money to get it and then to resell it for like 90 bucks. Don't make no sense to me. But I, my statue is going to come with the fucking war horse, that warrior horse, so I just can't wait for that. But anyway, uh, with all that said and done, I hope that um, everyone's well. Have fun. Stay tuned, man. For that fucking review in Philadelphia of this amazing figure, which uh, this whole week I think all over Facebook and the One Six Scale community has really have had some really positive re you know it's been reinforced, it's been loved you know and uh, it's an awesome looking figure man. That's all I can say, Johnny. All the best to you, man. Thanks a lot for everything that you did. Get back to me when you can. Peace and love, brother. And you know how I always say it. You know how I always say it. I know you don't like me, but you like my style.